according to uh, Chinese and Vietnamese traditional uh, medicine, pangolin's uh, scales in particular can cure uh, several uh, diseases, including cancer, arthritis, and problems with lactation in pregnant women. There's no scientific evidence about this, and in fact, studies have proved that pangolin's uh, scales are um, fundamentally made of uh, keratin, which is the same component of uh, fingernails and uh, feathers. So what is a pangolin worth then? I understand that the sale of them at the end of the chain in countries like Vietnam or China is significantly more than what the people in Africa get for catching them. Yes, in fact, the price of uh, uh, one kilogram of uh, pangolin scales has uh, grown fourfolds in the past 10 years from about uh, $700 per kilo to the current uh, $3,000 per kilo, which is the same value more or less of uh, rhino's horns. The poachers get uh, 2 $3, maybe $10 per pangolin, so a much, much smaller amount. And unfortunately, this very high price has led uh, this product to become almost a status symbol. But it should be reminded also that the second biggest destination uh, for pangolin products apparently is still uh, the U.S. This is probably for the consumption of scales, which are also sold online on uh, U.S. and North American websites. Uh, but not only. There's a trend which has been going on for many years now of boots made of pangolin scales as well as belts sold in in the States as fashionable uh, items. Do you think it would be easier to convince the American authorities to act to clamp down on this rather illicit, maybe unpleasant trade, much easier than maybe convincing Vietnam or China? Unfortunately, what happens in China is that the Chinese government is still uh, authorizing the sale of 29 tons per year of uh, scales, which means about 30,000 uh, dead pangolins, and authorizes about 200 pharmaceutical companies to sell this. Well, China has reacted to international pressure over the illegal trade in ivory. That's all about protecting endangered elephants, as well as rhino, of course, because of their horns. So why do you think China, also Vietnam, are not acting to protect pangolins? Elephants are huge and charismatic and known all over the world. The level of awareness is very high, while instead uh, pangolins are relatively much smaller and kind of uh, weird and quite unknown. They're very difficult to be kept in captivity, so you won't probably any zoo nearby that uh, shows them. Many people don't know what they look like. So it has been much more difficult to raise awareness about this issue. 